Welcome to the third episode of the new Frog Song series, Meet Us at the Market. This series of short videos will keep you all up to date with the changes in our crops and updates at the farm. Tune into each episode so you know the most abundant crops to expect at this week's market. So we're grateful to have our videographer Harley here to tag along with me. So since our last video, we've passed the winter solstice, which marks the shortest day and the longest night of the year in our hemisphere. During the last few weeks or so, we've had over a foot of rainfall at the farm. Coupled with the short day length and the low nighttime temperatures, this can damage some crops and slow growth in many others. It can also lead to a lot of erosion issues if we don't plant accordingly. This steep hillside here is not suitable to plant in all row crops at one time. If we were to open the entire block, we'd lose tons of soil if we had a big rain like this. Instead, we've learned to keep half the block intact while we plant the other half in vegetable crops. So far, we have been able to have successful potato crop, hibiscus, and watermelons in this block. We now have the block planted in brassicas. This week at the market, we have some cold hearty favorites for you guys to enjoy. Our first crop here is an apple cabbage, a variety that can go down to the mid-20s in our fields with no damage. We start this crop in the early fall and watch it grow into large, filled out heads by the beginning of the winter time. We love this crispy and mildly spicy leaves in the salad, the slaw, and of course kimchi. Radishes are a winter favorite here at our farm. We actually grow some variety of radish for eight months during the year. Our star radish here is the watermelon radish. We look forward to this variety all year as it has a beautiful appearance, mild flavor, and tasty greens. These make a quick pickle out of them. You take a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of salt. Uh, you cut down the um, sourness by uh, adding water to your brine. And then you marinate these uh, uh, radishes for about 20 or 30 minutes before you serve them up. All you gotta do is slice them really thin and you can preserve that really beautiful color. Put it on top of a salad, put it on top of a rice dish. Uh, all really good stuff. Most of us love tomatoes and we've tried to grow fall tomatoes each year at Frog Song. Through our trials and tribulations, we've honed in on the product of green tomatoes for the fall. The green fruit starts setting the second half of November, just as the nighttime temperatures start dipping down into the 50s or even 40s. Unfortunately, the cold temperatures prevent the ripening we desire, and many varieties just don't develop the flavor we're seeking. So, in reverence to local traditions, we're embracing the green tomato. We hope you all enjoy the success of the green tomato this week and look forward to some tasty ripe tomatoes in the spring when they'll get the warm weather they need. Please come out to the markets this week to enjoy all the crops we're able to bring from our farm as well as our friends' farms. If you can't make it, please check out our online store and we'll deliver your order this week within the areas we're able to serve. For all those outside our veggie delivery areas, we can still ship our awesome tea and groceries. Thanks for watching today, and please continue to support regenerative agriculture by shopping with us this week at the markets or through our online store.